This week, after a return to the cobbles that was all too brief, in my opinion, we saw Henry bow out of the show after getting a brutal rejection from Gemma. She may not love him, but we do. It's George Banks. George, welcome back to the podcast. Hey, hello. All right. Hello. Oh, it's so good to see you again. It's good to see you too. I've gone, I've gone, I've gone a bit feral. Hello. Yeah, I, quite... I, I was going to say that, that you've just come in character as like George, who's out down and out. He's been kicked out from the brewery. He yep. spent all his money on women, wine, and song, and that that could be a new and good route for the character for if if you ever come back, can not it? Yeah, he can't afford a haircut, even with Audrey's prices. Uh, can't <laughs> can't have a shave. Only has white exactly. t-shirts. You're, you're very busy, man. Don't worry about it, George. It's good to see it. Listen, it's been five years this week since you were on the podcast last. I've, this I've week? This out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your wow. five-year anniversary. Welcome back. Happy anniversary to us. Do we? <laughs> yeah. where's, yes. where's my gift? Isn't it? It's fruit. It's fruit. No, it's wood, isn't it? Wood. Where's my gift, Michael? Um, I'll have that cabinet behind you, if that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're getting. Big hand might have words, this, what, what was it like? How did it feel to be back, asked to be back on Coronation Street after all this time? Uh, very surreal and amazing, and kind of um, just a, a blast, really. I mean, I, I got the uh, a call about my availability, so I was doing a play in in town. I was, I was in the Mousetrap, mm. and I got an availability check in February. I think it's about February, and I was just like thought, okay. My agent was saying, like, just the check. So just, just be calm. Just be calm. Yeah. Um, and was it just it like until... saying, if, if, if we were to ask you, would you be? If, available? if we, if we had an idea, would he be? I was, I was like, yes, yes, I'll be okay with that. That's fine. Um, and it wasn't until about maybe about a month before I went up that I went, yep, yep, definitely coming back. Um, you know, here's the that had a, a bit of a chat uh, within. Here's the here's the story. Um, you know, would you like to do it? And yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, you you said um because you were in the mousetrap, weren't you? We 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 saw you. Yes. Like, you've been you've been yes. doing a few bits and bobs acting wise in the last five years. I mean, what what have been? Has that been your biggest highlight? Would you say because that, that's a huge show. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I left. I think I left Corey. I did some other bits, telly bits, and then I had a a child. Um, and then everything was shut down. Um, so. <laughs> I, I it was very strange you know I've, I've been on a stage every year of my life since I was nine and then I, I didn't do it for for about three years um mm. and that was really tough actually one of those things that you kind of don't realize how much of a part of your life it is or, or how how much you miss it uh, mm. until you then step back onto a stage and do it so I, I was in a, a play called Dial M for Murder at, at Windsor that was uh, a lot of fun um and then nearly straight up to the mouse trap after that and then i literally I finished mouse trap on the saturday and then started shooting coronation street on the monday uh which was nuts just just jumping on a train to manchester yeah on the sunday um i think that's why i've kind of revolted with my my hair and my beard because i've been very clean cut for a very long time <laughs> so, well, yeah. well, what's gone on because like henry used to be bearded and when he came back all clean shaven is that is this the new henry I, th I think it was actually more that I just couldn't grow a beard in two days. Um, <laughs> I tried. I tried and I went, mm, I think I think we should lose that. But no, no, you know, I do think, uh, I think Henry is is very different. It, it's a funny thing because, you know, there's, there's uh, I mean, you in, in the podcast have said, you know, he, he feels a bit different than he does before. Mm. Um, and I think it's right that he should feel different. You know, he, he wasn't there for five years mm. and, a lot's happened and a lot's changed and I think that's really nice that actually having that chat before going back of, of what's happened in his life and what's what events have, have kind of gone on that have made him change you know he was married and then divorced married to a woman he didn't love was made mm -hmm. to marry got divorced obviously assaulted set up by Chesney might have before anybody starts defending I know, him, I know. the kebab man that's a whole the kebab man. It's his like it's his vengeance name. Um, so <laughs> got assaulted by some thugs, married, divorced. The business that he belongs to, you know, had a very hard time in lockdown. Obviously, that reality exists within Corey. Um, and then has had to take on a lot of responsibility and actually, you know, work. So he's not this sort of carefree late twenties person that he was. He's a person that's had a lot of trauma in his past mm. and, and has taken on responsibility 
So he's quite different when he, he first appears. But what I really like and what I really like about the writing was that all the kind of opportunities, particularly when he's with, with Gemma, to sort of see his old kind of flamboyance kind of just just peek back over the surface. Yeah, well, especially um, in that scene um, earlier this week with, uh, with the Shakespeare <laughs> proposal. That, that, was, that was proper old school, Henry. I love that. Yeah. I did agonise about how to do the champagne pop, and I, <laughs> I, was, I was torn. I was torn between either like, or, or, I went double thumbs. It's my last scene. Let's just go double thumbs. It's fine. What did it say in the script then? Just like Henry, Henry. It doesn't say anything. I, I, I think it. Oh God, I think it just says. Um, it's just I'll order some champagne, and so there's no. Oh. And I just said to the director, "Can I do you mind if I like sort of wave and do a." And uh, I think it was in a generous mood, so I said yes. <laughs> no, I loved it. I loved it because it, it was that was your that was your final scene, wasn't it? So it was good that we yeah. that we we got to see a little bit more of that. Going back a little bit, what what was it like going back into Coronation Street for the first time after all those years? Like, were you, were you nervous to to set? Oh yeah, yeah. weirdly weirdly nervous. I think um, because I had been off stage and off screen for a while. You know, you even though I had been doing the mouse trap for for. Uh, close to eight months uh, telly and theater is very different disciplines mm. um you know you have to really scale things back to telly and and uh, <laughs> i'm not good at not being big um so <laughs> i was a bit worried about that but also you know i think I, I, I probably said this first time i was on here the first day you're there it is that kind of weird feeling of, of first day at school where everybody knows each other everybody's friends and you kind of have to be big and brave and go into the green room and talk to people um and I was just kind of overwhelmed the first time with how lovely everybody was and and welcoming and you know coming up to me and introducing themselves it was mm. really kind and so going back you know I I have stayed in touch with people there and I, I still you know really like people there um so I was more confident in that respect but it was still you know stepping into that space and with a lot of new people you know there's a lot of yeah people that I really like that have left um a lot of people that I like that are still there but a lot of new people I didn't know too and who didn't necessarily know me mm. so you know sort of going back to that space and being the same person but obviously uh, like I just said with every time you know things have changed I'm, I'm a very different person with with different things going on in my life the last time I was there mm. so you sort of think god am I still me are, are people still gonna like me and and all that kind of stuff but they're just it's just the it's just the best place to work <laughs> it's just, yeah. everyone's so nice and, and and everybody you know it, it comes and chats to you and, and seeing people going ah and you know having just massive catch-ups with people like it was yesterday you know um mm. and, and all the new people that I met were just lovely and yeah, I'm trying to think who like Charlotte Jordan she you had a few scenes with her didn't didn't you yes so she, yeah, she, there, she there when I was last there yeah yeah um, uh, yes yeah, quite a lot with her actually in the pub um yeah. and she you know she's very funny <laughs> yeah, um <laughs> yeah, her, you know her little her, uh her facial things and like uh, details that she does with her eyes and stuff and just you know when you're on on set and you and you can feel that happening you're just like oh you're funny yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be good <laughs> It's, uh, it's really nice when you sort of, uh, you know, uh, you're doing those scenes and you know that people get the beats and get what's funny and and get how those things work. Mm. And it's just, it's a joy to work with people that that uh, know that and do that because you, you're all kind of pulling together to, to make the scene as best as it can be. You know, you're not fighting against each other. It's understanding what happens and, and what's funny and where. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's mm. lovely. It's lovely to work in an environment like that. It's great. Yeah, uh, you had um, Jodie Prenger was in one of your uh, one of a couple of scenes with you, wasn't she? Like in that in that party yeah. episode, she's a she's a fun girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. We know we have a mutual friend. Um, I, I was in the History Boys oh, yeah. years ago, about thirteen years ago. Yeah, and uh, Bobby is a, is a is a friend of both of us. So we had lovely chat because she obviously she's uh, you know very uh, very much a um, a, a theatre girl. Um, mm -hmm. So we had a lovely chats about that, and um, I was—I mean, I was just glad I didn't actually get to hear her sing. That would have been 
very nice. Um, yeah, that was the whole um, whole point of that episode, wasn't it? They were yeah, like, yeah. starting a troop there. But yeah, yeah the end, you, you were the savior of the Rovers, weren't you? Henry was. How, how does that feel? That's that's pretty that's pretty impressive. I, actually, I suppose. I mean, te- technically, I was. <laughs> yeah, take it, take it. You were. Because I've been sort of thinking of him as like the harbinger of death for the Rovers. <laughs> every, every time he turns up, something bad seems to happen there. Um, but actually, no, I suppose I suppose technically he did put the water, the deal through before the Waterford's acquisition. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, right. I'll take, that. take down Betty's portrait. Stick Henry Newton up there, I say. Cheers. <laughs> 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 was uh, was Ian was Ian McLeod's producer pleased with your new kind of portrayal of Henry? Did it match what he wanted? The the new. Oh God, I hope so. Um, <laughs> um, did you have well, like, Did you get a chat with him at the end? Or yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And you know, it's I think what's really lovely is that it's it's um, Corey Field. It's very like open doors. You know, you can always chat to people. Are always available to chat to and, and always have to talk through things. And mm. if there's something you think about a script, you can always go. You know, have a chat with people that put them together. And uh, you know, it, it's it's really collaborative and great. And I had a long chat with him, and it, and it was that thing of of you know making him fit slightly more into the world that exists there because he was he was quite heightened and flamboyant before. Mm. Because I think and I think it was right for him to be. You know, he was. As I said, he was he was carefree and and young and you know uh, saw himself as above everybody there and and so it was sort of uh, natural for him to to kind of flaunt that or or heighten that you know seeing people that he deems as 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 sort of lower class than himself and then you know diverging off from that and, and heightening himself even more. Mm-hmm. I think he's kind of just calmed down and 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 gone you know realized that he's not than that and one of, the, one of the things he said a lot during the stint was i'm a good person actually i'm not mm. i'm not a horrible person and i think you know <laughs> proposing to a to a married woman side he's um you know been quite quite decent this time around and like, actually, yeah i thought that i mean but last time he was you know he was doing the false compo claim and and all, all this sort of stuff he, he was you know a bit, a bit of a villain wasn't he but I, I thought he came across as a generally good guy and even when Gemma was giving him a well-deserved telling off in that last scene he kind of felt sorry for him a little bit <laughs> It's oh, just my stupid. Just, I think that's just my stupid puppy face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it wasn't like he wasn't like whisking her up to bed or anything. He just, he just loved her, didn't he? Well, he does. That's and that's the thing. I think you know, he just seeing her and remembering, and it's that thing, isn't it? When, when you when when you have a sort of nostalgia hit from from somebody or something, you kind of want to visit that place in your past, but actually seeing her takes her back to a place way before a lot of stuff's happened to him and I think just reminded him that he's fun Mm. and he can have Mm. fun and you know that's something that's been missing in his life so when you find that again you just want to hang on to it and go actually god this is the person that makes me feel fun and makes me feel alive and it's worth it's worth the risk it's worth the risk to to hang on to her and and to tell her this you know Mm. but I don't think you know I think she's said he's he's and he says if i don't say my piece I'll, i won't forgive myself so he does he says it and she says no and i think he's not he's not a horrible bloke i think that it is probably okay i gave it my best shot and and that's it you know yeah he's he, uh, he's we're not going to see him skulking around corners looking to uh i know <laughs> pop chesney around the head or anything he's he's he knows when to he knows when he's defeated, yeah, he, doesn't he? For now, he's he, he's slinked away with his tail between his legs, but <laughs> and a load of money what, from the brewery, tons of cash, um, <laughs> which which softens the blow. Um, but no, uh, you know, I think I think the thing that's interesting, you know, and uh, you know, this uh, Corey sort of writer led, you know, they they whenever they see stories for for the characters, that that's how they evolve and, and grow. And, think it's nice that they saw this opportunity to bring Henry back with a brewery mm. and you know I think now I don't, it feels like if it is an end to that chapter with Gemma that there's you know hopefully lovely opportunities for him to come back and 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 you know see what happens to him with this money I mean he's never had to 
he's never really had to think about work or money so he's now and now he's got tons of money but i don't know if he'd know what to do <laughs> i just think i just think he'd blow it i i think yeah. there's loads of potential for <laughs> for george is like coming back in a in a little while and he's completely <laughs> destitute he's spent it all and 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 he's you know a with the commoners and everyone else <laughs> I'd like to see that. I think I think that I think that would really work for him. Who if if he do, do you think is there any other women on the street that he might want to go after if he you know if he decides that it's not going to work with Gemma? Who who else might I, you like to see? I don't know. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think right. You're you you you'd have a much better opinion of this than me. So I think right. If he it he, it's got to be somebody that absolutely doesn't take nonsense. <laughs> And somebody that would put him in his place if he's getting too big for his boots. So who do you, who do you, who do you think? Yeah, I mean, maybe it maybe it could be Daisy. God, that's a test terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she's scary. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but you know, I think and there's there's a lot of I think there's there's it feels like there's a lot of single people on the street at the moment. I mm. think. Like that. A lot of they can't keep a couple them. together. There's too much. There's no, much more drama in the uh, in splitting them up, isn't there? <laughs> Sarah Louise is on the market, maybe. Well, well, um, I think there's, there's, I think Dee Dee's single, isn't she as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, you know, there's, 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 there's and, and I think you know, I, and again, it, it, it's something he says, and I think it's true. I think that pub and that street is is actually really special to him. You know, he says it was special mm. to my granddad, and actually, it's special to me. I think it's genuine when he says that, you know. It's, I did as well. I mean, yeah, when he was saying, you know, this is a family business, I'm not going to let this go. I, I really felt that he meant that. And he was yeah. excited that this sale took place and it's it's now long, no longer. Just can't name. own the Rovers. <laughs> just just can't do it. It's always the final hurdle. Just, it just can't do it. Yeah. Um, but no, you know, it's, it's, it's a... It's a it's a place that is is it means a lot to him. So yeah, I absolutely you know, and they all know that everyone knows. I'd, I'd always loved I'd always love to come back as everyone because he's just so much fun. He's just well, we we've been asking for it for five years, and our <laughs> and, and, you know, our wishes were answered this year, weren't they? So we're we're going to keep going yeah. again. Bring back okay. <laughs> years. Thanks. It's back in earnest, isn't it? Have you been Have you been watching, um, keeping an eye on how the fans have been reacting? Have you Have you been like looking on on Reddit or the yeah. or anything? Because I, I think the, I've seen quite a lot of praise for the character. Yeah, well, it's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been really sweet. I mean, you know, like, there's obviously nobody's gonna, not everybody's gonna love every character universally, unless you're Ken. Um, <laughs> but, um you know, it, 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 I think. I, I think he might have been a bit marmite last time. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, but I think you know, gen from what I've seen, it's been quite positive. Yeah, there's still people that are like, oh, it's awful. My dad's just up with Chesney. Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you want the bad man, then that's fine. Um, but no, it's it's been really kind. And I'm, I mean, I'm an old man. I don't have Instagram. I really need to get it. I don't have it. But I, <laughs> I think I feel like I've missed the boat. But. Um, you know, I'm still on Twitter, so I still, I still, uh, I do, I do read what people say because I think people are really kind and really lovely, and and it's really nice when they want to say that they enjoy your work, you know, and they enjoy the program and enjoy the character. I think it's it's really important to 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 thank people for that, you know, taking the time to to say that and, and saying that's really kind, you know, and, and thank you, and I, I love doing it. Um, so I'm I'm really glad they enjoyed it because that's you know. Ultimately, that's all we're doing is we're, we're telling stories and trying to entertain people. So it's 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 fantastic. Yeah, very sweet people. You know, team uh, people on Team Henry is always is always nice. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I need to ask: we were talking about the the fan reaction. One comment that I kept on seeing online was, "Why is he employing Gemma as his PA? She doesn't know anything about." It. What what's the reason? You need to go on. I've got I've got words to have with people about this, right? <laughs> Unlocked potential. And she's plucky and feisty and she will work very hard. Obviously, you also fancied her and that's just that side. <laughs> um, that's, that maybe got her over the line. But no, you know, it, it's one of those things. You can give people a chance and you don't, you know, you don't, nobody starts a job being an expert in that job. So why not give her a job? And and he says in the pub, you know, I just, I just want to help you. And he does, he does. Mm. He just, you know, she's in a, she's got a horrible situation at home. Um, she's got 
I mean, he didn't know. Oh, no, he didn't know at the moment he said that. She's got five pounds to feed. Oh, um, you know. Oh, Chesney, he can't look after himself. And Ch- so. Well, so then, well. <laughs> but presumably, presumably free kebabs and chips. One, oh, yeah, probably. Um, one would hope. One would hope. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, 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 think, I think that's mean. That's mean to say that. You know, could teach her. She'd learn. She, she's plucky. She'd be fine. Well, it sounds like she got her morning's induction on that scene at the uh, brewery. What more do you need? Oh, yeah. Um, Sheila from HR. She's a good sort, I think. <laughs> where, was, where was that scene filmed? Did they have... Were you just, like, in one of the offices at the Cory Building? Oh. Or did they make you a special set just for, for one scene? No, it was very cool. Um, there's a huge prop store. And there's... Oh, God, I hope I can tell you this. I think no, I, I, this. I know. I, there's, I've, I, I've been to the prop store. It's great. We've talked about it on the podcast before. Fine. The prop store. Um, and there's uh, um, like offices at the top, but you got to walk through loads of just super cool stuff, like uh, old signs, um, just mad props from people. Oh, I think Ken's Christmas bells were there, which was very exciting. Um, <laughs> and and just other bits and bobs like that. So it was like a, like having a little kind of um, a history lesson before popping up to the, to the boardroom. Um, but yeah, no, it was, uh, it was, very, oh God, notifications coming in. Oh. <laughs> it was um, uh, good. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was up at the top of the prop store and uh, it was super, super cool. Yeah. So it's a shame that we didn't get to see a couple more scenes of uh, Gemma working for you. I think that could have been quite fun. I know. It was so much fun. Um, and I, what I love about Dolly is there's always so much like little details in her work. So, you know, at the start, there's, um, little plate of, of biscuits in the middle of the table and for the second scene she's like can I just have a ton of a biscuit packets around my notepad and crumbs all over it's like yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> so she just sat there taking notes I was like what oh. during the meeting it's like absolute perfect Gemma that's absolutely what would happen um yeah. and you know the stuff with uh his dad being inappropriate and him just like absolutely squirming mm. and it was it was a very fun day and a very fun scene to shoot and um yeah i was i was sad that there wasn't a bit more of that because it was a lot of fun but um you know i'm I'm glad that it was there at all so yeah yeah i i like the um i like the scene in in the hotel where where you punch chesney as well no sorry it was the other way it's henry henry punch you chesney (laughs) punched you didn't he whoa 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 (laughs) yes fun Um, to do did you get a crash mat Yes, did you do your own stunts? I did, and um, I I fell like a sack of hammers. Um, it, it was <laughs> great. Had a, a fight director. Um, Sam scary. He's like he he, he swings his arms like yeah. That's, that, if if that was real, that would be you know, quite a hefty little punch. Um, but um, oh, I I can't. I think I can. I think I can tell the story. I don't think Sam would mind. Do it. I do, okay. <laughs> so there were two things that were that were really really difficult. Um, one, after I say, well, "What's your name?" Chester, isn't it? Hmm. And he just absolutely dead eyed me and said, "Chesney." <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it now. I'm laughing. I think I corpsed about five. I felt awful, and I'm not. I'm not normally bad at corpsing, but just it's that thing where he, when both of you are looking at each other. And somebody says something and one of you finds it funny and you just know and you cannot hold it together. <laughs> um, so that, that happened about five times. And then the second one was when he went to storm off and like angry storm off. Mm. He didn't realise that one of the very big hotel chairs was next to him. So I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, and they kind of <laughs> stapled around the chair. Um, and I, I tried. I tried really hard to stay in character, but no, just lost it. Just lost it. But no, it was, you know, we had, they're, they're both, they're both great. So we just had loads of fun between takes and chatting and, and uh, wanted to, to get the punch right. Cause my punch last time was bad. Um, so, <laughs> um, you know, nailing that felt really good. And actually, you know, seeing, seeing the clips and seeing people's response to it, it was, it was great. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun. That sort of classic Corey punch, I think. And then, um, I, my favorite bit is actually the scene after that, where, for for me anyway, from my character's perspective, where all the information is coming out, and he's just sort of <laughs> his eyes sort of going mad. He's going, "What is happening?" <laughs> <laughs> all, all this information is getting chucked at him. 
yeah. five kids what married <laughs> um so that yeah that was lots and lots of fun lots I, mean, of I guess fun. that must prove how much henry did love Gemma that he was willing to take those on i assume he wasn't mm. just wanting her to dump the kids and run away with them i mean you'd hope not <laughs> <laughs> Come run away with me. Leave leave them, but but you come with me. Um no, no. He says your children will want fun. He has all good intentions except for Chesney. <laughs> which is is fair. As that is a rivalry that hopefully we'll get to see uh to be able to revisit one day. <laughs> Classic Corey rivalry, Chesney and Henry. <laughs> oh god, be excellent. Just, just kit us up with some boxing gloves and some shorts, and I think Henry would be doing the sort of old, the old-fashioned one. Hold up, resty cuffs, put up your oh, jokes. God's sake, he would as well. He would, wouldn't he? He would. He would. He <laughs> wouldn't. He'd t- take off his glove and slap Chesney in the face with it. Wouldn't he? <laughs> I challenge thee, <laughs> and, then, and then throw it down on the ground yeah. very extravagantly. Oh God! Uh, Only if, yeah, uh, well, maybe. maybe. <sighs> I hope, I, I hope, I hope, I hope we do get to see you again on Coronation Street. I, I, Me too. You, you know, you know, we've been wanting Henry back for all this time, and uh, and when we found out a couple of months ago that he would be back, it really made my day. It's uh, yeah. sadly, sadly, only only a month or so, wasn't it? But no, you know, yeah, it was. It was never, a, it was... And, I, and I think what you said earlier was right that the the new, more toned down Henry could probably fit in more genuinely, more realistically as. Hopefully, regular character. <laughs> it's just that thing, isn't it? I mean, if if the writers think think the, and the producers think there's there's a story there for him, then I think you know. It, I I just I would always love to play him. He's just he's just fun, and working up there's the best. It's just mm-hmm. the best. You know, he's seeing a lot of fun. Yeah. Did, seeing you, know, um, did like, you know that that was your fiftieth episode? One of your one of your last ones. I think you got. You think you're over yeah. you're fifty one now. So, oh man, I can't yeah. make any of your under fifty lists. <laughs> you, you can't. You, you snuck in there when we did it earlier, um, didn't? You? Right, what, George. What we it? we need to go. It, it's it's no. it's late for us tonight, isn't it? We 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 got to finish. It's been it's been I'm lovely s- speaking to you again today. My life is an absolute shambles. I'm so sorry it, it, to anybody watching this. It's like nearly eleven o'clock. It's roasting yeah. hot. I have a cup of tea inexplicably, <laughs> and I'm drenched. I don't. I just, oh god. Ah. Oh. Yeah, George, George said nine nine forty five at the latest. You said earlier, didn't you? <laughs> I've got I've got two kids, man. Just come on, it's hot. <laughs> I did I did my very best. It was within half an hour of the time I said, and yeah. that is as good as it gets for for, for me. I'm <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's been lovely. It's been lovely. I wish we could talk longer, and um, you know, maybe maybe. Maybe one day when you're back as a regular character and you've you've done as many ah. episodes as, as William Roach, we'll get you back on again. Yeah. Just just <laughs> a cool fifteen thousand. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to go. Thank you so much. It's been lovely, and um, yeah, thanks for having me. Best of luck with whatever's coming up in the future for you as well. See you later. See ya. Bye bye.